This booklet was produced by the Guyana Elections Commission. It was a guide for all voters on Elections Day, laying out every single step they needed to take. The first thing a person did was to check the list outside of the polling station to see if their name and other details were on the official list of electors. Now some polling places had different polling stations, so if you weren't sure where you had to vote, you could simply check with the polling clerks. You then join the line and await your turn to vote. Once you get into the polling station, you present your ID card to the poll clerk, who then checks to make sure your name is there and then announces loudly your serial number and the name and particulars as they appear on the official list of electors. The poll clerk then places a tick to the left side of the serial number and then you are given your ballot paper to go and vote. Once you are done voting, you place your right index finger into the little container with the ink and then place your ballot paper in the ballot box and you leave. Now, could you have returned to that same polling station to vote again in the name of someone else? You could have tried, but it would have been difficult. The most obvious reason is that your finger would have already been inked, and so you would not have been allowed to vote again. But there's another crucial reason why you could not have been allowed to vote again. That reason is this. It's called the folio the sheet of paper which has all the necessary details of persons on the electoral list. It would have your photo, your full name and your occupation, the name of your husband or wife, the name of your mother and father and their places of birth. So let's say for example you turned up at the polling station claiming that your ID card was either lost or stolen. What happens? The election staff will go through that folio to make sure that you are who you say you are. Now keep in mind that the party agents from the area would have been working at that particular polling station. So if you show up to vote in the name of someone else, they would likely know that you were lying and you could either be thrown out or be handed over to the police. It was the chief elections officer, Mr. Keith Lowenfield, who himself made it clear just the amount of persons who would have had access to that folio. In each of these polling stations, we will be having our chief presiding officer and probably an assistant presiding officer, along with agents of all the parties who would have qualified to be on the ballot. These agents will be in receipt of a folio. The folio contains the names of all the electors for that particular polling station. In addition to the names, there are some autobiographical data that speaks to, no doubt, your address and date of birth and things of that nature. And so voting in the name of someone who is dead or someone who may have been out of the country on elections day would have been almost impossible. The Immigration Department has told the Guyana Elections Commission that there were some 172 persons whom it checked out that were out of the country, but that APNU plus AFC claim voted on Elections Day. But as the days go by, many of those persons on that list have come forward to say that that is certainly not true. My name is Dish Petit, and I live at 96 Livellum South, West Coast of Marahara. On the 2nd of March, this year, 2020, I voted at the Saraswat Primary School. I also worked all day, all day that day as a candidate to poll to the poll. So I don't know how my name has appeared that I was out of the country, yet I voted. This has really depressed me and I feel very upset about it. My name is Sorsati Ramnarain. I live at Lansempe. Philadelphia East Bank SP. I vote at Philadelphia Nursery School and this is my ID card. I didn't leave the country. Good afternoon, I'm Kamini Kumari Singh, ID number 152325503. I've been a resident of Cornelia Ida continuously for over 10 years and I have voted on 2nd of March 2020 at Cornelia Ida Nursery School at around 3.15 p.m. Okay. I am alive and well and I am greatly disappointed that my name has cropped up on that 
place. Yeah, that he was overseas. And that I was overseas. Of course, there would have been instances where the GCOM staff made mistakes or errors, such as not stamping the ballot paper correctly. But all the local and international observers said that the elections they process ran smoothly, that it was credible. Those observers included President David Granger himself, the leader of APNU plus AFC. Everything was in order, the staff was in place, they had all of the materials. I have not received a single complaint in all of the stations I visited, and I've been visiting stations for nearly three hours now. And um, the staff are aware of their duties, and they are performing their duties efficiently. There's, of course, tremendous enthusiasm in the stations in all of the places I've seen, and I expect there's going to be a massive turnout, and I think the people of Guyana should be happy that um, this democratic process is moving smoothly, the international observers should have nothing to complain about. Um, we have noticed a few anomalies and maybe abuses, but the agent, Mr. Harmon, is going to make a note of them and raise these matters with the uh, Elections Commission. As far as I'm concerned, the process is going very smoothly, and I think Guyanese, as far as I can see, should be satisfied that the Elections Commission is administering these elections as it is authorized to do in an efficient manner. And so once the voting was complete, there were no complaints, including from APNU plus AFC, which had declared that the polls were credible, free and fair. And so the counting of the ballots began. The PO or POs and the agents will affix their signatures to the statement of poll for that part of the station. Each of the signatories will be provided with a copy of that statement of poll. So the PO has his copy, there is a copy for the returning officer, there is a copy for the chief election officer, and there is a copy for each of the agents of the respective parties at those polling stations. The only copies of those statements of poll we have not seen are those that Mr. Lowenfield himself has and those that APNU plus AFC has. The PPP has claimed that it won the elections and has published the statements of poll from District 4, the largest electoral district, which shows exactly how it won the elections.